In a sense, Apex Legends is not the same game that we reviewed back in February 2019. Between new characters, maps, features, and regular seasonal content, Respawn has transformed its battle royale into something greater. And yet, despite these adjustments, the core of Apex Legends remains intact. The formula that made Apex Legends work so well back when it first launched hasn't changed over two years later. All of which is to say, Apex Legends is still really fun and worth jumping into if you haven't yet, and now you're able to do so on Nintendo Switch. But just because you can play Apex Legends on Switch does not mean you should. Half gone, half left. To the credit of developer Panic Button, the Switch port does function. I've only had one crash in my five hours with the game so far, and the Switch rebooted the game fast enough for me to rejoin my squad without fuss. But it feels like the Switch is barely making it work. On Switch, Apex Legends targets 720p resolution while docked, and 576p in handheld. And though the 720p sounds pretty good, the Switch port seemingly manages to reach those resolutions only by compromising on graphical detail, draw distance, and the speed at which assets are loaded. And on top of that, though the Switch port targets 30 frames per second, you can tell that it dips below that. That's all a very technical way of saying that Apex Legends looks muddied on Switch, whether docked or in handheld, especially in comparison to playing on other systems. Now, on a surface level, this just means the Switch port is less pretty. But in a more substantial way, these drawbacks in resolution and frame rate put you at a disadvantage when you're fighting against someone who's playing on any other system. Because on Switch, it's harder to see people from farther away, and it's more difficult to discern individual bullets. In a fast-paced battle royale like Apex Legends, knowledge is power, and the ability to make split-second decisions with the information you have can be paramount for success. And that's just harder to do on Switch, which can lead to frustrating losses when you're put into a match with Xbox, PlayStation, or PC players. And on Switch, where the frame rate regularly fluctuates below 30 FPS, it can prove difficult to land shots with firearms that rely on precision, because your image isn't keeping pace to accurately track enemy movements and animations, making it more difficult to line up shots. This is less of a problem at close range, where pinpoint precision matters less and tracking targets is easier. And granted, Apex Legends meta does naturally skew towards close range weapons like shotguns, so you'll probably be regularly fighting up close anyway, but there are situations where a mid to long range semi-automatic weapon is preferable. On Switch, where I'm not really afforded that option, it seems like there's an unfair advantage to anyone else in the match who's playing on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC. Thankfully, you can disable crossplay, but that does limit you. The pool of players you'll be able to match with will be significantly smaller, increasing the likelihood that the game may struggle to connect you to similarly skilled players. And of course, if your friends are already playing on other platforms, Turning off crossplay means you can't team up with them. So although disabling crossplay is an option, it isn't a satisfying solution to the overarching problem. That the Switch just isn't the ideal way to play Apex Legends. Up in the chimney. Throw my grenade out. Given the fast-paced nature of Apex Legends fights, it can also be a bit of a struggle to play with the Switch's Joy-Con controllers. The analog sticks prove to be a frustrating hassle for the game's competitive demands, especially in handheld mode. The motion controls do not help, but thankfully you can turn those off. My enjoyment of the Switch port improved immensely once I started using a proper gamepad controller. And on that note, I did have moments of fun playing Apex Legends on Switch. Panic Button has managed to take a game that I love and make it work just well enough on Nintendo's hybrid console. I don't want to keep playing it on Switch with its many technical concessions, but this port is a decent last resort for folks who want to get into Apex Legends and only own a Nintendo Switch. Just know that you're signing up for something less than ideal. Thank you.